it's not worth it to me. That's just my opinion. Well, the, whenever someone says that, though, like, I, 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 I feel like it's hard to compare because everybody with a PS5 has the same processing power. You know what I mean? And you, that's why you don't play against typically, uh, you know, unless you unless you want to like queue for PC pool on Overwatch, but you don't play against people on PC. So I, I feel that. It, it's, it's kind like of hard NASCAR. To... Everyone has the same car, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, it's, yeah. it's about it's about the driver. You know? yeah. It's about the gamer. You don't have to worry about beating good the cars. You just gotta worry about beating up the drivers. <laughs> like, <laughs> so, days of the thunder, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I know what you're saying, but I mean, but it, you know, it's a six year old video card. It's like, why would you put something? And it's not exactly that GPU, but it's the equivalent. You know what I mean? Um. There's features that are great about it, but I have a 1080 Ti sitting in my closet. I don't <laughs> have anywhere to put it because uh, you know I can't put it in one of my systems. They have way better GPUs in them. Right. I have a 3090 in the box I'm using right now, and I hardly ever use all the power of it. Mm. It's just why would you? I go back six years, you know. Anyway, that's that's, that's the way I look at it. You know what I mean? Not that I would if I won one or something. That would be great, you know. But I'm not gonna go out of my way to pay twelve dollars a month just to play online as well. You know that's that's a deal breaker. <laughs> I'll take it so. off your hands, Gucci says. Yeah. Um, I don't know enough about consoles other than when my kids were younger, and then you know, and when they were growing up, um, we went from PS2s, I think it was, to Game Boys, and then to Wii's and whatnot. So I only know enough about what they do and how they play and i know that they would go back to the video game and you know trade in their olds with to, to get credit for the news and things like that so i um and i think larzy said it um and as well as the illusions um you know i'm i pc through and through me i am definitely pc because that's what i i know best or know right now the only console that i have are is my switch that i just started learning to play now um you know I, I'm not the best with it with the with the Joy Cons and whatnot. So I I can't even tell you guys what's best and what's not. So, you know, from my standpoint, PC all the way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's see. Um let's see, consoles nowadays. I mean from back then till now, I gotta say that it does kind of meet like the demand depending on like, you know, our lifestyles because um especially uh, back then we had the Game Boys and everything. Like you know, we didn't have a cell. Phone. That came out before the cell phone. Am I am I correct? Or did the cell phone was it was, it was just getting the out? Game there. Boy, the Game Boy, the Game Boy. Yeah, the Game Boy, uh, the, the Game Gears. Yeah, the like um, not till like we didn't have cell phones till about nineteen ninety nine, two thousand. Yeah, the very so, basic. Yeah, so it's kind of like a secondary thing back then. I mean, the, those kind of handhelds, I mean, it was a secondary thing. But it was actually a, it was a pretty good idea where they have that, you know, where it transitions to having a cell phone. So now it go it goes from consoles, a home console, where, you know, most of the time everybody being at home, or most people being at home when they play, and going towards, you know, playing on handheld, on battery. Well, most of them have batteries. Um, now getting into the cell phone age, now that became, you know, the mobile thing became a big thing. Now, from then on, you got the Switch. So it's just where you could actually, you know, play it on the TV or, you know, just play it on the road. So yeah, I just awesome. feel that the consoles, it just, it, it does meet, you know, our lifestyle. So that's, it's, which is kind of interesting because, I mean, it, it, it's, it's proven profitable and, you know, so far. The Switch is one of them. Well, I think it may be the most successful console ever made, considering it's very um, versatile. It's versatility, mm -hmm. and um, it's just the technology nowadays. It's just it's just incredible. I mean, we you know we're going into the VR stage. You know, we're going a little more into the VR stage now. So, um, it's 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 just incredible how like you know the technology and you know video games have um, have evolved in a way where it just becomes like like it becomes p more part of our lives 
you know, rather than just something, you know, just you know, having to, you know, stay at home for, you know, it's it's just it's always with you. Like I said before earlier, I bring my Switch to work, <laughs> but I don't play it like entirely at work. I I know my space. <laughs> I, I know my role at work. You better not. But it's, yeah, you know. <laughs> But it's it's just it just becomes more part of our lives now. It's it, it which is crazy. I mean, it could either be on a console like the Switch, or it could be on your phone. You'd be playing Call of Duty on your cell phone for all we know. You know, it, it's 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 incredible. Oh, I love all the little tidbits. Everybody, Larzy, Illusions, Voodoo, you guys are adding some great <clears throat> knowledge there to to Twitch. Um, but yeah, so. Um, I think we're all kind of in agreement switch right now so far (laughs) is the best uh, console out there I just feel like there's you know it is all mostly marketing as you guys know it's it's like it's like Disneyland has to reinvent itself every seven years I mean consoles pretty much have to do the same they have to reinvent themselves to be able to stay ahead of the game to you know to to be able to outdo their competitors and whatnot, and it's all marketing. So you know, if you buy into the marketing, and you need to, you're one of those people that have to have uh, the must-haves, have to have this. You know, mm, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying neither here nor there that it's bad. I'm just saying that it's just, you know, you just have to kind of weigh your pros and cons. You know, weigh the apples and or oranges and see which is yeah. best for you. Mm-hmm. I, I think that. It's, it, I, I used to think it was so funny, you know, I think back, this conversation makes me think back to like 2019 when like I first got onto Twitch and that was like not long after I bought my first like decent PC. I, I was always like a Mac and console person most of my life, right? So I'm actually relatively new to the PC game. Um, and, uh, and then I got on Twitch and I, and I would just laugh seeing all these like pc hardcore like people with like fifteen hundred dollar rigs and they're streaming twitch things <laughs> right oh, my, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> True. oh i got all this power it's so much better than my 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 than a ps4 or whatever <clears throat> so i can stream twitch things <laughs> right <laughs> anyway wow. So mean. <laughs> I mean, I, I, just, I would just think that's so funny. No, I mean, hey, that's totally cool. I'm just, it's just what's funny is that, like, um, uh, I, I just, I never really, I, I know that PC is such a money sink. To right. Me. That's what I always looked at it as. That's why I kind of avoided it most of my life, because there's just so much to it, and and like people with these legit setups have like four thousand dollar rigs or more right so <laughs> that's that that that's i mean if, if P, to me console of uh, like console is for for uh, uh you know uh, us us budget people <laughs> <laughs> nothing wrong with that <laughs> but we need nothing to be a budget that. gamer you know what i'm saying so. yeah yeah Oh yeah, just uh, before we move on, actually a quick shout out. I mean, I I know we talk about the Nintendo, the Switch, and everything, the Game Boy, and everything like that. Just a quick shout out to the PSP, the PS Vita, along the way, because those uh, portable handhelds actually were a lot. They were made um, ahead of their time, you know. Honestly, um, if it weren't for that, you know, it, wouldn't, it probably wouldn't influence the Switch. So I mean. Uh, it's very to me. I think it's very underrated to me because I've I, I've always wanted to try out the PSP or the Vita. Like I've always wanted to own one, but I feel like there wasn't enough marketing, you know, for me to get it. Because I mean, the only time I actually hear about the portable uh, portable P- uh, PlayStations or the uh, PSPs or Vitas or whatever, is from people. I mean, some people already know about it, but like it, it just wasn't like I, I. To me, it felt like there wasn't enough marketing for it, and that system was way ahead of its time, even before the Switch. So I thought that may may uh, influence the Switch a little bit, especially how games were played on it. It was it's just you know it's like a literally you have a TV and <laughs> and it's like you you play RPGs on a on a um, on a handheld. I mean that's just incredible there. So, mm-hmm. yeah, just a quick shout out to those uh, consoles. I know you didn't want to leave them out. So, <laughs> but yeah. Okay. 
So was, I think everyone answered that question, right? About mm -hmm. yeah, the way about the console. I'm not knocking consoles myself. I mean, I have some consoles. I think what really bothers me is um, the old game consoles. I have a Genesis in the wall there, Sega Genesis Model 1. You could take that anywhere. You could take it to Big Bear with no phone line, no internet. You could play the games. The games are completed on the cartridge. They don't change. They don't let you make you log into something. Um, where you hear a lot of people complain is a lot of the games now, you have to log into their service to even play the game, even mm -hmm. if you're playing by yourself. So let's say their service goes down, they go out of business, whatever. You can't play that game anymore. <laughs> That's what sucks about the new games. That's just my two cents on that. Yeah, very true. Yeah. And even if you just want to play, not even play co-op, you just want to play to progress. It's a progressive game. You know, you have a, pr a progression of your character or whatever. You can't even do that. If there's networks down, you're down, basically. Um, it kind of sucks. I, I yeah, wish they you know wouldn't make sucks? it that way. Because oh, a lot sorry, of people, like, kidding. let's say you're, you're in the military and you're on a submarine for six months out of the year. You got no internet. You got no Wi-Fi. There's no way to play the game. You, you have the game. You can't play it. Why? Because you can't get a signal. Mm -hmm. Think of the military console makers. Think of the military people. I just Go wanted ahead. to add on that, Johnny, is like, you know, like these uh, these game consoles, too, though, that have like subscriptions now oh. where you get these games based on your subscription, even though they don't require you to be online because you got them through the subscription. Yep. Like you have to be online just to play this game. Even like, like X Men Arcade, I got as a subscription through uh, on the PS3 way back oh, in the day. Oh, classic arcade! <laughs> Great game, right? That's but I couldn't classic. play it unless I was online, because yeah. it was mm -hmm. through my PSN subscription. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> and here's another thing too. Like, I'm I'm using PlayStation Plus as an example, but you know, a lot of people say, "Well, you're not only paying for the subscription; you get a free game every month or two free games every month." So do you have that's why they have to charge you. This is what sucks. Let's say I got five free games from having PS PS plus, you know, PS4 plus. As soon as I stop paying for PS uh, PlayStation Plus, those games, I can't play any of them. Mm -hmm. Even though they were free, because I stopped my subscription, those free games are gone. So uh. <laughs> free. Free. <laughs> so um so i think we have some more questions actually the panelists but i i think we, we all went through one qu we all had a turn uh, having one question is, mm -hmm. it, is it okay if we we'll just end it like that then yeah. or did you want to do the questions additional no i think we're fine we're actually I'll leave it up to uh, in terms of time i think we're yeah, really we close to, to pressing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. All good. Yeah. So for for those of you who do have <coughs> questions for the panel, you know, please, please feel free to reach out to any one of us. Or if there's any topics mm -hmm. you would like to hear in future shows, please feel free to let us know. Um, we would like to we'd like to hear from everyone as yes. far as your experiences. And I I saw earlier Brandon uh, earlier in the chat mentioned elevator action one of my favorite games <laughs> of the 80s 90s amazing game elevator action shout out <laughs> elevator action nice Yay. thank you everybody in chat for being so interactive and answering and posing some really good questions and good facts um and just you know just um putting out your well, knowledge yeah. there for each of us uh to to be able to grasp so thank you thank you and uh voodoo if i do get a ps5 mm -hmm. i promise i will send it directly to you okay <laughs> if i get a ps5 it's yours oh my goodness it's on record it's on record i do not want Everybody a ps5 knows. it is yours if i get if i get one he has a ps5 he says <laughs> well, then you can have two <laughs> well too bad <laughs> hilarious it'll become a ps10 <laughs> I want a yeah. PS5, man. <laughs> <laughs> give it to John. Give it to uh, Pac, um, <laughs> DJ. <laughs> Hilarious. All right, y'all. 
Um, well, th- I want to thank you all again very, very much. Everybody that was in chat, uh, that was here participating. Thank you to all the mods. Can we? I know we have a very special shout out for the mods. So can we get the vo- the mods shouted out for us as well? I want to thank Johnny f- uh, freaking Rico for facilitating the podcast today. Um, and thank you, uh, DJB and Rizaline and Crazy Pac Man. Welcome, Crazy Pac Man, to the panel. Um, we had I. This is I. This is one of my favorite things to do. Um, is to be able. Uh, I just brainchild or brainstorm the ideas and throw it out there for the for the group. And then or not. This was not my idea. The video games was their idea, and I was like, okay. But um, but in terms of the podcast, I thank you guys all so much for being here because. Without you, without your knowledge, without your input, without your creativity, especially Rosaline and DJ for um, the overlay, the new, we rebranded you guys, a new overlay, we have a new logo, um, just uh, for without without you guys, you're the, you are the foundation of Mixed Talk and I truly, truly appreciate every single one of you. Um, thank you chat for being here, we absolutely adore you and love you, like I said, I- if we have any questions um, out there, you feel free to pose any of the questions to each any any one of the panelists. Um, you can come and visit our or you can post the questions here. We can pick it up later if you'd like. Um, but make sure you follow one, every single one of these panelists. They're awesome in their own right. Um, DJ, do you want to shout out anything that's coming up for you now in the near future? No, he has nothing to shout out. There's no kind of tournament of Valorant <laughs> of any kind. <laughs> <laughs> bam bam six except except that one is coming march first weekend of march y'all nice. bam bam is going to be dope it's back in oce follow us at, at bam bam league on all the socials tiktok instagram twitter myspace myspace my journal friendster zanga zanga <laughs> angel fire lycos asian <laughs> avenue patreon <laughs> uh, find the pics yeah there you go thank you dj rizaline rizaline are you piggybacking <laughs> off of a dj yes What's You're, sorry, what was that? D, uh, Rizaline, are you piggybacking off of DJB, or do you have anything you'd like to promote out there? Um, I don't do anything with my life. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Yes, she does. We're She's going lying. To We're going to do a music stream we, very I, soon, y'all. Yeah. Like, very nice. keep saying that, but like this time, it's like... It's, it's a lot more possible. Yeah, we're moving into a new place. Where that way, we're going to be able to have a permanent <laughs> in this nice. place that we're at. So we're gonna do hold music streams way more often. Please like, hold this accountable. Yes. <laughs> uh, coming April, we've already started talking about it. Uh, we haven't set a date yet, but we want to do another 12-hour music stream. Or, I don't know about 12 hours of just music. But Very good. A 12-hour stream uh, for our birthdays in April. So keep an eye out for that, y'all. Awesome. All right, Pac-Man, you have it's anything to promote? To be all right, just real quickly, um, I am slowly getting out of my streaming hiatus, so um, I decided to go stream at least two days uh, a week, Thursday and Friday. Um, I've been playing a lot of retro games, so uh, I've been doing a lot of, well, I've been, doing some, uh, I've been planning a lot of throwback Thursdays and flashback Fridays, uh, but I might even put in like maybe a, a surprise Saturday stream. So, uh, yeah, I'm just probably going to be doing like two streams a week. So, nice. Uh, if you guys want to, go ahead and follow me at me, Crazy Pac Man, at http colon slash slash twitch.tv slash Crazy Pac Man. So. Here, I'll put it there for you guys. There you go. All righty. Johnny, you're up. What do you have to promote? Uh, if you like, check out my channel on YouTube under the same name, Johnny Freaking Rico. We just hit fa- over 5 billion views on my channel and wow. over 5,000 subscribers we're close to 5,000 i have a whole section if you want to relive the good twitching memories okay. and songs i have a whole section with over 250 duets and some live streams actually of me four hours of twitch scene so check it out if you want to see some old school twitch scenes action i also have a video clips channel with lots of video clips from my favorite movies tv shows that aren't on youtube at all so I have them up there. Check it out. Awesome. Thank you. All right. And uh, for those of you who are going to TwitchCon, it has been announced. This year's TwitchCon will be 
TwitchCon 2023 will be in Las Vegas, Nevada. Yep, yep. So uh, in my Discord, if you're not following me on my Discord, please do. You can check me out. My, my socials are there. You can um, come follow me. Uh, we have a, an active community in Discord. We are posting. Um, we have a channel specific to TwitchCon that we're going to start planning. So if you want to be a part of that planning, uh, not so much committee, but just in 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 um, intertwined in the, in the planning, so we can meet up with you. We're gonna have a lot, a ton of meetups at TwitchCon. Please, you know, join my Discord, and we can start having the conversations there. I truly appreciate you guys for being here. I do just for just real quick on my streams. I am kind of back with uh, game nights on Mondays. We're starting back at game nights tomorrow night. Every other Monday nights now, um, we do movies in Discord on Wednesdays and then karaoke's on Saturdays. So that's kind of my stream schedule for now. But in the meantime, you guys, make sure you go follow every single one of these beautiful, awesome people and, um, you know, drop a follow uh, and, and go check them out uh, when they're streaming. All right, we're, let's, if, does anybody have any any particular person that we can go raid at the moment because we yes. as we do we pay it forward who do we want to raid um our good friend w wonders 3 is currently playing valorant oh okay let's go He's streaming Valorant. Right now. all right let's go do that now if y'all uh here's the raid call please go copy and paste that we're gonna go raid our friend ww3 wonder what is that is that is or is it what is it can you it's guys w, it? w wonders three okay there we go all right you guys w wonders i'll even shout them out wonders three all right y'all have a good night have a great rest of the weekend and for some of you who are already starting your work week have a great rest of your work week stay safe everybody please show kindness be kind to one another love you all see you all soon peace thank you See y'all. Yeah. We're good. Oh, it says WW3 is not the right one. What is it? WW W Wonders 3. W Wonders. Are you sure? I found it because it doesn't show that he's live right now. I hope. Are you sure? Really? Is he not playing anymore? Oh. Okay. Well, okay. Never uh, mind. We're not gonna oh, go bummer. raid Wonders anymore. Anybody else? <laughs> Just this playing pokemon community let's yeah, go pokemon. raid our friend yep. meow too meow is oh. awesome he's an uh, another community member um we met up with him again over at twitchcon he's super awesome he's a musician by right um singer song not songwriter but uh he, he's musician sings all right, let me go. Let's let go raid. Check if he's still there. Yeah. Okay, he's good. Okay. Good. Meow to y'all. Okay. Make sure you copy in that raid call. We're going to go raid. Meow. We're going to raid. We're going to raid. Here we go. Bye, raid. you guys. See you all later. Bye. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Here we go. Good night, all. Good day, y'all. Good morning, y'all. Happy President's Day. Here we go. Happy Bye, President's guys. Day. Bye. America. Uh, I'm not America. America. <laughs> America. <coughs> oh, yeah. I could cough now. <laughs> Anita, you stop stream, too? Yeah, I'm stopping. Yeah, the stream stopped already. We already <laughs> moved over. Oh, what's up? Oh, no. oh, yeah. He doesn't know us. Okay, we got to go tell him. <laughs>